Like, if you are not that, the women will not like you. It does not matter how much outer game tactics you display. It does not matter how cool you seem to be. The women will not like you. That's a fact. It's a sad fact, but it's a true fact. What's up, guys? Johnny Anthony here from Johnny Anthony Lifestyle. I'm going to be doing something pretty cool uh, once a week on the channel. As you guys know, there's new videos coming out every day at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to be selecting some of my best videos, okay, from long in the past. Okay, video, like a lot of you guys are new to the channel or you've only been following me for a year or two. Um, there were videos that came far before that that are really good that kind of just got buried and lost. So I'm going to re-release some of my best videos once a week, okay? There will still be new content uh, six days out of those seven. Okay, I'm going to try to bring someone on for an interview once a week. So one of, one, of the week, one of the days of the week will be an interview. One of the days of the week will be a new gem old video. Uh, so this week, we are going to go into what I think is a very important topic, how to not be beta, how to not be a pussy, okay? And how it all starts there. You're going to hear me in a rant back when I used to drink a lot. But it's pretty, it's pretty good. I do this, this little rant about how to not be a pussy. Okay, before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. Make sure you turn on the notification bell for new videos every day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Okay, and as always, like and share if you found value. So without further ado, this is Depussification 101. Enjoy. What's up, motherfuckers? This video is about depussification. Now that term refers to cleansing all the pussy men that happen to be watching this and turning them into alpha non-pussy men so everything i teach on my channel will not work if you are a pussy okay and if you are second guessing yourself or you're unsure if you are a pussy you should ask some hot women that are in your life or you should look in the mirror and make an honest assessment of whether or not you are a pussy in most cases if you are in any regards um, questioning it you probably are okay I used to be myself a lot of people are as well criteria for are you a pussy do you let women push you around do you let men push you around are you the passive person in most interactions do you let people get away with whatever they want do you let your family talk down to you or, or talk however they want would you lose a fight if someone fucking, if you walked out on the street, someone punched you in the face, even if they were half your size, would you lose that fight? If yes, you're probably a pussy. I'll put it this way. I've been with a bunch of hot girls in malls and other public venues, and I've played a game called Let's Choose Who's a Pussy. And we can point out a guy, and without fail, 99.9% .9 of the time, the girl chooses or selects a, a pussy guy the same as I do. Why is that? Stop for a moment. It's a very important point. Why is that? Why does the girl size you up immediately as a pussy? Why do I size you up immediately as a pussy? The answer is very simple. You are breakable. You are possessing beta characteristics. You look like you are too likable. You look like you could not stand up for yourself. You look like you might be too nice, etc., etc., etc. But there are a certain amount of characteristics that are going to label you as a pussy, generalize you as a pussy, that a man, an alpha man, can spot out very quickly. An alpha woman can spot out very quickly. And until you write that, until you fix that, None of the techniques and tactics that I teach in my channel, which I refer to as outer game, will work for you. So what I recommend, it's going to be a hardcore recommendation. What I recommend, you join a martial arts dojo, whether it be karate, taekwondo, Muay Thai. I highly recommend Muay Thai kickboxing and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's the best stand up style, Muay Thai. The best ground style is Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I highly recommend you join those. I highly recommend you develop a discipline and a 
outer shell for not being able to put up with any kind of bullshit. Okay? That's my personal recommendation. From there, it's going to be on you. When someone disrespects you, whether it be a man or a woman, do you stand up for yourself? Most of you, I'm sure, do not. I never used to. Most of my clients do not. And I want to... Pro the reason I'm making this video, I was like, what, what fucking video can I put out next? Depussification is of primary importance in the game, in the pickup world. Because... <clears throat> When that is not handled, you are fucked. I'm making this dramatic on purpose. When that is not handled, when you are not in charge, when you are not the man leading the fucking verbals, the interaction, etc., when other girls are controlling it, when other guys are wiping the floor with you, when people don't respect you, men or women, you are fucked. F-U-C-K-E-D. Fucked. And nothing I can teach you will fix that. I promise you. So the message isn't all about fighting. The message isn't all about being, becoming a champion fighter. The message is you have boundaries. You have principles. I have a video called Boundaries as a Man. Watch that. If a man steps to you physically, you can defend yourself. Muay Thai, Karate, Taekwondo. If a woman wants to fuck with you, I'm not talking about being physical with a woman and attacking a woman. I'm talking about bringing your principles to the table and not letting that shit fly. Okay? Very important video. Because <clears throat> what I've seen <clears throat> over the years with my coaching experience is a lot of men that are very breakable. A lot of men that are very crushable. A lot of men that are very, that have no principle, not, have no backbone, have no standards. Okay, and people are gonna walk all over them. Men or women are just gonna fucking trample them, bulldoze them, and that's never gonna change until they fucking man up, have some principles, have some core standards, have some shit going on. This is a very important video for many reasons, and the reasons are most coaches and most guys in the community are not talking about this most coaches are like do whatever you want but do this do this technique you should say this technique but it doesn't matter like how you present yourself i'm coming to the table saying if you are not in good shape if you have not been in many fights if you are not a fucking alpha leader protector Leader, alpha, what other words? In charge. Like, if you are not that, the women will not like you. It does not matter how much outer game tactics you display. It does not matter how cool you seem to be. The women will not like you. That's a fact. It's a sad fact, but it's a true fact. So... You need to become the fucking man. You need to become the fucking alpha leader. The man who doesn't back down. The man who is in charge of all the other men. The man who fucking leads the conversation and handles business. If that's not you, unsubscribe from my channel, please. Because none of my videos will help you ever promise you sad but true until you are there swinging punches with me in the trenches until you are there being the one man that will not submit to all this fucking beta bullshit 
until then, you will not be a womanizer. Oh, a, a woman, a man that's successful woman, you will not be it. It's, it's that simple. Like, you just won't be it. So, <clears throat> get your fucking shit handled. Stop being a beta. Stop being a pussy. And when you've returned to the alpha side, when you've returned to the side that's in control, that's in power, return to my channel. And I'll be waiting. Thank you. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active, while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.